Okay, let's have a look here. I was making this craft heater when I was doing it desert. Heater. Huh. Okay. Paper's not working. That always means I have to open up fresh paper. Okay. Boiler. Y axis, X axis, and uh, we'll go up in one, two, three. One, two, three. One, minus one, minus two, minus three. And then. The first one, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So this is question 23. So for 23, um, maybe we can go up in trees that might that might do the job because uh, you only need to go up to 15 3 6 9 12 15 and likewise going down minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 minus 12 how did i mess that up minus 15 Minus 18. 18. Okay, so the first point is minus 3, 15. Then minus 2, 12. And then minus 1, 9. And then 0. Oh, minuses. Minus 3, minus 15. Minus 2, minus 12. Minus one, minus nine, zero, minus uh, zero minus six, one minus three, two zero, three three. Looks like we get a nice straight line, and that is question twenty three. Right now on to. Twenty-four. Let's change the scale. Uh, so this time, whoops, this time much smaller, much much smaller. So we might want to go up in like point two five, point fifty. 0 0.75, 1.0, 1.25, 1.50. 1 no, that's not, that's going to be, because I see there's a, a 5 over 2 there, so maybe it go up in halves. 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. Okay, so the first point is minus three minus a half which would be there uh, minus two zero minus one a half zero one um one and one point five two two three and two point five i'll just mark in here that this is minus point five and this is minus one okay Looking like an oh, <laughs> so a straight line. <laughs> Looking like a straight line again. Okay, next one now. Um, going up to six. So, 
can go up in ones. One, two, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. Minus three, six, and then four, then two, then zero, and then two, four, six. <laughs> A V shape, because of the modulus, the absolute shape of the graph it makes. Oh, that one's off a little bit, isn't it? Oh yeah, minus one, two. Minus one, two, just there. <laughs> okay, good. Now, next one, I need to go down to minus nine. So what I might do is just remove this and just go a little bit further down. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine. I can squeeze it in. Okay. Minus three, minus nine. All the way at the bottom. Minus two, minus four. Minus one, minus one. Zero, zero. One, minus one. Two is going to be minus four. And three is going to be minus nine. So... I'll try and draw it in freehand you'll get the parabola whoops i can do that a little better there great great that's 26 oh yeah sorry i haven't been updating the numbers have i that's 25 and now uh no actually that was that was 26. Now we'll do 27. Well, I have to remove my beautiful parabola. Okay, so this one here, 27. Uh, which, funny enough, I go up to 27. So what could I do? 6, 12, 18, 20, maybe. Three is six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. Maybe six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. Minus six, minus twelve, minus twenty, minus eighteen, minus twenty-four, minus thirty. Okay. Minus 3, minus 27, so keep it there. Minus 2, minus 8. Keep it there. Minus 1, minus 1. There. 0, 0. 1, 1. 2, 8. Three twenty seven. Yeah, actually, that's off a little bit. It's exactly in the middle. Okay. And cubic time. Okay, good. That's 27. Now, let's have a look here. 28. For the following exercise, use the vertical line test to determine whether each of the uh, given graphs represents a function. Assume that graph continues at both ends if it extends beyond the given grid. If the graph represents a function, then determine the following for each graph. Well, for the first one, first one, 
it's not a function really because what we have here basically is a circle so if you draw a vertical line you can draw a vertical line in such a way that it passes through two points on it so it fails this uh, vertical line test for being a function. So it's not a well-defined function. Now it says if the graph represents a function, determine the following. So since it's not a function, then I, I, I don't have to determine it. But kind of interesting is can kind of say what the domain and range is here. Um, I'm wondering should I do it because I'm looking at the next graphs. So that's a that's a function, that's a function, that's a function, that's not a function, that's a function. Uh, that looks like a function. What about 34? 35 looks okay. Uh, I might have to look at the PDF to see in 34. It's a bit clearer. Okay, so I think I just finished there. That that's um not a function. Um because also because you can say that zero maps to both one and minus one. It's a function. Assume that a graph continues at both ends if it extends beyond the given grid. If the graph represents a function, then determine the following. And I think it's kind of interesting that the ones that look like they're not functions are the even question ones. So there's no ever there's not gonna be an answer at the back for those ones. It's gonna be odds at the back. So yeah, I think we'll finish it for there. And next time we can have a look at these graphs. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so let's wrap it up there.